up everyone? All right, well today's the first day of August and thankfully I'm starting with a green day and thankfully we had some momentum. EVK currently up 129%. At the beginning of the recap, I was up 6,600. By the end of the recap, I was up 6,800. I added a little profit on a trade during the recap. It was a dip trade. Uh, and EVK is, is hanging out here. It's, it's holding up relatively well. I was kind of skeptical because it started the day, pre-market was good, and I got green on it, like 1200 bucks, but then at the open, it sold off. And then all of a sudden, we got this awesome break of VWAP setup, squeeze into a halt, dip and rip higher, up from, uh, let's see, before, the, the VWAP was around 415, and it squeezed up to 560. So that was a really nice break of VWAP setup. And, and it's still holding well above the VWAP right now, so, I've shut it down. I'm trying to under trade right now, get green and just be grateful for that. Cause you know, you guys know I was red last week. Last week was a red week for me and I gave back some profit at the end of July. And unfortunately I'm coming into August here feeling a little bit timid and really not wanting to continue that red streak and just kind of take it slow. So. You know, I, I got a little more aggressive today on a couple entries and I'd like, I'll break it down during the recap, but I got green and I gotta shut it down now while I'm still green because it doesn't take much. You know, if I see this EVK rip through 550, 560, 570 and continue to, to new highs, I'll be so tempted to get back in and, and watch me get back in at 575 and then all of a sudden it flushes to 530 and I'm in with 6,000 shares. You know, all of a sudden now I'm down 2,400 bucks. I've given back half my morning in one stupid trade. And I'm gonna feel bummed out. I am. There's no way around it. I'm gonna feel bummed out. And that's a feeling that traders have to get used to because, you know, trading is risky. But I, I wanna try to avoid that. So there's a certain part of trading uh, sometimes where you're kind of managing your, your self-confidence, especially after a couple of losses like I had last week. You know, last week wasn't great for me. And so this week I'm trying to rebuild my confidence a little bit and I feel really good having a $5,000 green day. Would I feel better if I was up 7,500 or 10 grand? Of course, but I feel great right now. And this feeling is so important to carry into tomorrow that I can't risk a late morning, midday or afternoon trade that's gonna take that feeling away because I catch a big loss. So a little bit of trading uh, and managing my emotions here today. It's the beginning of the new month. Psychologically, it's always helpful if you can start the new month in the green. It's not always possible, but you know, that that's the idea. So, uh, you know, all I have to do right now is shut it all down and not look at the computer for the rest of the day. And I can carry this good green day into tomorrow. And I'm not out of the woods yet. You know, $5,000, it's a great day, but I'm not out of the woods yet. I still am deep in the red from last week. I, I didn't total up how much I lost last week, but I'm guessing I was down probably $125,000 over five days from Friday of the week before through the end of last week. It's not great, it's not great. Now, I, I still finished the month of July up. Uh, well, let me check to see what it was. Um, so, I don't know if I imported, I don't think I imported my last day of the month uh, just yet. But, but I wanna say I finished the month uh, up around $250,000. So let's just check that real quick. Now I'll say while I'm checking, in case you didn't already know, my results are not typical. I take a lot of risk, I'm very aggressive, and it can pay off. But it's a sword that cuts both ways. And you know these big losses were certainly the result of being aggressive. So, I actually finished the month up, um, uh, looks like $256,000, but does that include the Friday? It does not. So yeah, so I'll be up around 230,000. Yeah, so you know, it's again, really can't complain. That's still a great month, but you know, here at the beginning of August, I gotta kind of stay focused on keeping myself focused. Just get green, shut it down. And you know, even this morning when I was up 1800 bucks, I said, you know what? Maybe I should just shut it down here. It's a green day. Uh, and I, I may do that tomorrow. You know, if I, if I, my first trade, I only make $2,000 or 1500, I may just say, you know what? Let's just make it a second green day in a row. Let's do something I haven't been able to do in a little while and have some back-to-back -back green days. 
You know, it's a big confidence booster. And during that time, if we do start to see better follow through, things open up more in the market, then going into maybe next week, I'll feel more confident. But right now, just kind of have to take it slow. It's the beginning of August, working on building my cushion for the month. Because you start at zero every month. So I hope you guys enjoy the recap. As always, trading is risky. Most beginner traders lose money and my results are not typical. So I encourage you to trade cautiously and trade in a simulator before you put real money on the line. I hope you enjoy the recap. Please hit that thumbs up and I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. What's up everyone? All right, so today is the first day of August and I'm locking up a green day. That's the way I need to start the month. Up $6,600 on EVK. Green on DLPN, red on AHPI, up 5,000 on the day after um, those trades are said and done. Uh, EVK is pulling back a little bit right here. Uh, it's all, almost was tempted to maybe even do a little dip trade down there. You know, when you get these kind of pullbacks, I think that this might have support around 485, which was a daily level. So 485 eh, could be, that could be a spot. Uh, let's just watch this. I'll take a quick dip there. See, I bought it 487. So I'm buying that dip and I want to see if it pops back up to uh, $5. You see how you have that bottoming tail right there? The low is 80. Now the high is 90 of the last candle. So we want to look for the break through 490 and then back up to 495 and up to 5. I try to catch bottoming wicks like that. Now, it's a little tricky because sometimes if you're early, uh, you know, you'll, you're not gonna be super happy because you're gonna be in a little too early. But if you can get that, that little pop off the low, you sometimes can get a nice trade. Now, for me right there, I'm sizing out here, reducing size. I only added a little bit of profit. First one minute candle to make a new high would be uh, over 97. The challenge is that we are below the whole dollar, five dollars. We're also below the 20 moving average right there. Uh, so eh, not, not a great risk reward ratio on that trade, but uh, I, I take the trade anyways because sometimes you do get a really nice kind of springboard action where you bounce off the low and you, you pop up. And sometimes we get nice 20, 30 cent pops off the low. So now up uh, 6,800 on EVK. But let's go back to the beginning of the day. So. My first trade on the day was actually DLPN. DLPN was uh, gapping up 22% this morning and pre-market, you know, it was looking pretty nice. So if we back this up right here, uh, my first trade on DLPN, my first trade of the day was along at 1050 uh, and I was looking to anticipate this squeeze up to 11. So that was my first trade in the big account. Uh, I'll back this up. It was right here, 1050. So 1050, and we got that trade up to 11. Now, the only problem was that I added for the break of 11. We didn't get a break of 11, it pulled back and I had to stop out. So I made $1,200 on the first trade. Uh, let's see, my second trade on it, uh, where was that? Uh, let's see. So that was 1200 and my second trade on it was uh, right, it was right here, yeah. It was right right in there. Um, no, 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 I'm sorry. It was right here. It was pre-market, it wasn't that low. It was right here. I got in right here at 1018, 1015. I was looking to anticipate the break through the VWAP and that curl through this level of 1030, 1029, and then maybe move back to 1050. And on that one, I lost uh, 500 bucks. So I went from up 1200 to up 800. You know, not, not great. Uh, but then EVK popped up. So this started to fade and I was like, all right, let's switch focus to EVK. EVK is the leading gapper, not including these two reverse splits. So let's focus on this one. And on this one, kind of a similar setup at 430. And that was um, my first trade on it. It was the break right here in my small account of 419 and I got out break even. So it, <coughs> excuse me, started to pop up, didn't hold that level, came back down, got out break even. I got back in uh, here in my big account for that move right there. And I made about $2,500, uh, maybe, no, maybe 1,200 on that first trade. Cause that put me up around, around 2,500 on the day. Uh, then I continued trading it through this level here to 45, up to 60. And we got some nice action. You can see this nice flat top ABCD pattern right there. 
that was a really nice breakout. I definitely traded that breakout. We got um, another small one right here at 60, but I started to kind of feel like I was only making like pennies a share. The gains were so small. And so I kind of just said, you know what? I think I'm, I'm just gonna take a break. So I stopped trading it and at the open it sold off. Uh, and then at that time, AHPI popped up. AHPI squeezed up right here, it got halted. I wasn't in before the halt. I bought on resumption uh, and did a dip trade right here for the break over 50. First one minute candle to make a new high, stopped out right here. And then I got back in, uh, where was it? I think it was right here and stopped out a second time right here. So I lost about 1,200 on, on each of those trades. Uh, so down 2,300. And with that, I was up only $870 on the day. And then EBK squeezed up and got halted going up. So EBK, all of a sudden we get this awesome trade right here. And this was, you know, this was a nice break of VWAP, a nice break of VWAP right here, 415. Then it goes to 420, breaks through the high of day, 455, and it squeezes. My first target was 485, daily resistance. It halted up at 495. On the resumption, I was looking for a, a dip and an add off of 485. We got it. And then we got the break of five and I took profit into that squeeze. One minute pullback at 538 right here, 529 up to 560. And my last trade, uh, actually my last trade was a dip trade on it. Uh, well, it was the one actually you just saw. Um, that was my last trade. So I did trade it as it came back down, but the, probably the last really decent trade uh, was, was right in here. So dip trades for me, you know, can produce some nice gains. Um, you know, you get a dip trade, it pop, pops back up. People who held that dip trade down there, you know, it ended up going to 533. Uh, I still have a small position on it now, but uh, I'm gonna set my stop at, uh, at break even. So, you know, this may go a little higher. The five minute setup is starting to form. Uh, you've got high volume green candle, which I like. It finally is a stock that's holding up, but some of these flushes right there on the 10 second chart are not so pretty. And you know what, because today was day one of Trader Rehab, trading with small size, I do not wanna overstay my welcome. I already gave back a good amount of profit on AHPI. Fortunately, we had this great opportunity on EVK. I took the trades on it. It was a little risky, but got some nice trades. And at this point, I don't wanna overstay my welcome. And this is actually looking like a head and shoulders pattern. So shoulder, head, shoulder and maybe a retest of the VWAP. So, you know, at this point, uh, green is good. I don't wanna overstay my welcome. Getting the month off to a good start. You know, 5,000 uh, bucks on the day. After commissions, it'll probably be like 4,800 because I traded just so many times on EVK. But off to a green start, that was the goal. And now I'm, I'm done for the day here and I'll live to trade. Another, and it looks like I just got stopped out the rest. So I'll live to trade another day. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Tomorrow will be day 15 of the small account challenge and uh, it'll just be the second day of the month in, in the big account. So I'll be back at it tomorrow. Hopefully we have uh, a little bit more momentum and I hope that EBK does continue to squeeze this afternoon. It may not, but I hope it does. And I look, sit down tomorrow and say, wow, there was some really nice momentum yesterday. That's great. It is August have to reduce expectations a bit, but uh, got green today, so that's good, and I'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. All right, see you guys in the morning. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed that video, and make sure you hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Our goal is to hit 1 million subscribers this year, but we won't get there without your help, so please, please, please hit that subscribe button.